What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be showing you my Greenlight Police Collection. This is an update for 2020, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get started. So I don't usually collect one department in particular. I usually have several departments, just random police vehicles. But there are three departments that I have collected specific cars from, so I'm going to go ahead and start with that and move on to the random ones. First department is California Highway Patrol, and to start off, we have this beautiful Ford Crown Victoria 2008. Got a 2008 Dodge Charger. Got a 1978 Dodge Monaco. Got a 2017 Ford Interceptor. Nineteen seventy five Ford F one hundred, and my personal favorite from this department, my nineteen seventy seven Dodge Ram Charger. Now, this one is a custom, I bought it on eBay, I forgot how much I paid, but this is originally from a three pack that comes with a Dodge Monaco and a trailer from the movie Terminator but they customized it and made it into a highway patrol and this back part did come off but I glued it on because I did not want it to have a separate removable piece because I didn't want it to get lost plus grabbing it by here and then it falls apart it could break so well those are the California Highway Patrol cars now let's go ahead and move on to NYPD First one is a 1987 Ford LTD Crown Victoria Wagon. Back does open a little bit. Nineteen ninety Chevrolet Caprice. Two thousand and eight Ford Crown Victoria Auxiliary NYPD two thousand and ten Dodge Charger. Two thousand and eight Crown Victoria NYPD and last one is the same exact Crown Vic except it is customed with some extra decals and antennas and some extra little uh, light bars on the windows this one is a canine unit slick top so very cool one of my favorite pieces from the collection And yep, those are the NYPDs. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Florida Department. These next ones mean a lot to me because I myself am from Florida, so I grew up around these vehicles. And it uh, just means a lot to have them in scale size, so very cool. Got this 2008 Ford Crown Victoria, Florida Highway Patrol, FHP. Got the same one, but without a push bar, and this one is a custom K9 unit, same as the NYPD one. It was uh, made by the same person. 
So very cool. I also love this one. 2017 Dodge Charger. State Trooper. Florida Highway Patrol. Love this one. And it actually lights up, but I have not charged it, so I sadly cannot show it in this video. But I do have a video on all my light up cars which there will be some in this video later on that I'll show you and I'll be leaving links in the description so you guys can go see that 2010 Ford Crown Victoria City of Orlando Police Department and I have been to Orlando before so I have seen this in person so very cool these next ones they, didn't, they don't even exist. I had to make these myself. City of Miami Police Department. This is a 2008 Crown Vic. So I ordered the decals and the car and had to make it myself. But very nice. I love these. I grew up around these. And this one is a 2011 Dodge Charger Pursuit. Made it with the canine unit stickers on it as well, so pretty cool. And yep, those are all my Florida vehicles. Now let's move on to my unmarked units. Got this 2013 Ford Fusion. Put that license plate on there myself. It's a little bit curved, but very nice car. 1976 Ford Gran Torino and this one is the one from the movie Starsky and Hutch so very cool it does have that little light on top of the roof nineteen eighty four LTD Crown Victoria very cool looking with that push bar and police rims kinda low profile unmarked unit 1978 Dodge Monaco and this one is from a movie but I forgot the name of that movie two thousand fourteen Ford Taurus police interceptor all white with a push bar two thousand and six Ford Crown Victoria this one would typically be used by the FBI something like that in movies nineteen seventy two Chevrolet Monte Carlo and yes this is from Ace Ventura pet detective but come on I had to include it he is technically a detective so <laughs> Very cool. 2019 Chevy Silverado. I was going to put some decals on this one, but I haven't had time to, so for now it's just an unmarked. 1992 Ford Crown Victoria. This one reminds me of the movie Super Troopers, and if you haven't seen it, I really recommend you do. It's a very funny movie. 2017 Dodge Charger RT, and as you can see on the windshield, it has some little things there, and that's because this one does light up. And I'll give you a little preview of it. Oh, no, this one's dead. I'm going to have to show you with a different vehicle. But yeah, this one lights up as well. 2017 Dodge Charger and this is another one of the light ups 2017 has different modes but yeah it lights up that's the point like I said I'll be leaving a link down to all my light up cars in the description 2013 Chevy Cruze
and this one is from my Hawaii 5.0 set. Here's the Camaro that Danny drives, and these light up as well. And the Silverado that Steve drives, and it also lights up. Again, link in the description. Dodge Charger 2017, no, I'm sorry, 2012. This one lights up as well. And last one is a 2011 Dodge Charger that also lights up. And cool thing about this one that the fog lights light up as well as the headlights and police lights. And that's it. Oh, nope. I'm sorry. That's not it. I have a Ford Interceptor as well that lights up. And I believe this one has battery, so let me go ahead and turn that on. So we got this guy. This is one of my favorite ones, too. I love the color of it. So now that's all of my unmarked units. Let's go ahead and move on to some other ones. Now let's move on to some customs. Got this 2013 Chrysler 300, which I made into an FBI vehicle. Put some antennas on there. I think it looks pretty cool. FBI K9 unit. And I tinted the windows as well. 2008 Crown Victoria and this one I just souped it up with a bunch of police gear on it so I think it's pretty cool this one I purchased it's a 2010 Crown Victoria and it is from the ATF which stands for alcohol tobacco and firearms which I think is pretty cool. Nineteen seventy eight Dodge Monaco. This one is one that I made for the CIA, so a CIA vehicle. And have a Chrysler three hundred C, also an FBI vehicle. And my last CIA vehicle, this is 2018 Dodge Durango SRT. And since I'm showing you a Dodge Durango, might as well show you my only other one. 2018 from Utah Highway Patrol. Two thousand and twelve Ford Police Interceptor, and I believe this is Philadelphia Police. I am not sure. Two thousand and eleven Dodge Charger, Memphis Police. Two thousand and eight Dodge Charger, Puerto Rico Police. Two thousand and eight Dodge Charger, Sheriff, not sure from where. Forgot. City of oh it says it there. Okay, one second guys. Okay, it says City of Centennial, so yeah, wherever that is. 2018 Dodge Charger, and I believe this one is from Canada, I'm not sure, but I love the color of it. 2008 Ford Mustang, 
City of Coronado Police. Two thousand and sixteen Ford Interceptor, Georgia State Patrol. Two thousand sixteen Interceptor, New Orleans Police. Two thousand sixteen Interceptor, Chicago Police. 2013 Nissan GTR R35 and really cool chrome color it does not say a department so I'm just gonna go ahead and go with Dubai <laughs> because they have these type of police cars 2008 Corvette Z06 from Bloomfield Police. I'm sorry, Bloom Hill Police. 2008. Tiniest one that I have, this Volkswagen Beetle from Sioux Falls. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. 1994 Jeep Wrangler San Francisco PD 2016 Jeep Wrangler US Border and Customs 1981 Jeep CJ7 and this one says Animal Preserve so I really like this one pretty cool looking one 1974 Dodge Monaco don't know from which department again I think Canada but I'm not sure so if you guys know please let me know 1965 Ford Custom State Highway Patrol from Ohio. 1977 Pontiac Le Mans. Le Mans Enforcer. 1977 Pontiac Le Mans. And this one is the Sheriff vehicle from Smoking the Bandit. Very cool. 1975 Ford Gran Torino, San Diego Police. 1978 Plymouth Fury from Minnesota. Love the old style light bar on this one. 1977 Dodge Monaco, Texas Department of Public Safety. 1977 Dodge Royal Monaco from, I forgot, Minnesota. From Minnesota. Really nice light blue colors with those rims. Looks pretty cool. 1977 um, Pontiac Le Mans from Denton, if that is a place. I do not know. I've never heard of it. 1978 Dodge Monaco. The writing is way too small, so I cannot see what state this is from, but yep. 1987 LTD Crown Vic Wagon State Police and this is Crime Scene Investigator so Crime Lab from Louisiana is it Louisiana? yeah 
Yeah, I got it right. Louisiana. Okay. Nineteen seventy-four, Ford Torino, San Francisco Police Department. Nineteen seventy-seven, Dodge Monaco, and this one is the one from the movie Terminator. Nineteen sixty-seven Ford Custom Honolulu Police Hawaii, and this one is the one from the old Hawaii Five O TV show. So very cool, love this one. Nineteen seventy-seven Pontiac Le Mans Nevada Highway Patrol. Now let's get into some Crown Vicks. I have a lot of those. U.S. Marshal Crown Vic. 1968. This one is pretty cool. I love the colors and it's from a TV show, but I do not remember the name of it. 1969. This one, one of my favorites. The Sheriff one from The Walking Dead. Great TV show, loved it, scared the poop out of me, but great show. Oakland Police. Indiana Police. This one is pretty beat up. It's seen a lot of fire. Albany County Sheriff Nevada Highway Patrol this one is also one of my favorites have a all white Crown Vic and an all black Crown Vic Homeland Security, Federal Protection Services. Seattle Police. Fargo Police. This one has also seen better days. Detroit Police Montana Highway Patrol East St. Louis Police and I don't know why but this is one of my favorite ones I just love the all black with black rims and red letters. I think it's pretty clean looking, so yep. And that's the rest of my Crown Vicks. Let's move on to some trucks. 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 Corming Police. Love the big old push bar. 2017 Ford F-150 and this is a conservation police officer so like nature and whatnot Two thousand sixteen Ford F one fifty and this one is New Mexico 
State Police. Pretty cool, it's got lights on the push bar and on the back. Nineteen uh seventy two Chevy pickup State Police don't know what department nineteen eighty one Chevrolet K five Blazer and I know this one is from a movie but I haven't seen that movie and I don't remember what it's called. Sheriff and this one. The back was also detachable, but I glued it on as well. Chevy Silverado here. This one, I wanted to do like a roadside assistant type of vehicle. And I do want to order some decals for this one. Sorry about that, guys. Somebody was knocking my door. Like I was saying, I want to get some decals for this one. But just haven't had the time to. And that's the end of my trucks. These last two are my only green machines. Got a 1977 Plymouth Fury, Tennessee State Trooper. And a 2010 Dodge Charger unmarked. So these are the chase pieces of green light. And that's about the whole collection, guys.